everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that Chrissy dolls are one of my big, highly collectible dolls. Well, one of my best friends, my best friend since kindergarten, her mom uh, was cleaning out the basement of her grandmother's home and came across her childhood Chrissy dolls. She came across a Chrissy and she came across a cricket. Now they were stored in the basement and you can see they need some desperate cleaning up. So I was, she was like very hesitant to even give them to me. And I was like, no, 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 you don't understand. I love cleaning old dolls up. And I did tell her too, I was like, you know, you know that this cricket doll is actually, when she's cleaned up, she's worth about a hundred bucks. Like she's got her whole outfit and underwear. And she said she wanted me to have her. Um, you know, my friend, she's not a doll collector at all. And she brought them over to me. And I've just, they've been sitting <clears throat> in my project pile since because I haven't had the opportunity to give them the attention they need. But I'm going to try to get them cleaned up and I want to show you guys the results. So just so you can see now Chrissy eyes, almost all Chrissy eyes end up with this fungus on them and it's because of the glue that they use in the eyes it just attracts that. But I can clean it off um, with a mixture of alcohol and stuff and then their arms are growing some um, funky stuff. It might be some mold but I'm thinking that with a magic eraser and a good dose of laundry detergent I can take that off because it doesn't look like it's in the vinyl itself it just looks like it's surface stuff so I'm going to work with them as carefully as I can to preserve and like the face paint is really good on both dolls like her face paint is really good under all of that her face paint is the same like it's really good underneath all that stuff and their hair is in good shape too so i just need to get them really super cleaned up so that we can so that we can so that i can put them on display with my other chrissy dolls and this is going to be something that's really cool and special to me because you guys if like i said if you've seen my channel you know that one of my mom's dolls that i have is her chrissy doll from when she was a kid how cool is it going to be to have my best friends mom's Chrissy doll in my collection too. I mean, I already have her here. I'm going to get her cleaned up. So it's just, it's, it's, it's very meaningful that she even thought of me to give these dolls for it's, it's very, you know, I'm very honored, but it's like even more, it's like the even more level of how special it is because I have a special connection to these dolls already. And it's just so funny because when she sent me the pictures of the dolls and she was like I don't know if you really want these or not and I was like oh my gosh those are Chrissy's absolutely send them over so we're gonna go get them cleaned up let's see how it goes okay I'm here in my cleaning station I'm wearing a mask um, because of all the mold on the dolls and I've got my usual tools I've got a magic eraser I like to use OxyClean um, when cleaning stuff up. I also like to use Wool Light Delicates. If you've watched any of my other videos where I fix something up, you've probably seen that before. I'm going to start with the Chrissy um, because Cricut has some clothes on. So I'm just going to, I just want to wash her completely. So I'm actually probably going to get her very wet. and. When I do that, the inside of her eyes are going to get wet. Everything's going to get wet and I'm going to have to let her dry out. That is not a problem though, because one of the things about my mom's Chrissy doll is that when I was a kid, I used to take a bath with her all the time and she's fine. So I know that they can get wet as long as we just dry her out really well. So like I said, I've got a mask on. I'm wearing a um, N95 or not an N95, but the KN95 because once I start um, rubbing this mold. I don't want to breathe it in. The water helps a lot with that though because it'll keep it from becoming airborne. So I'm going to turn the water on and we're going to get her cleaned up. And just look, just look at that difference already. Let's see if I can look at the difference between the spot that I just barely wiped and the rest of her face. So I think she's going to clean up really nicely actually really happy about that. You want to be super careful around the painted parts because it will um, take the paint off. This magic eraser is very magical in that sense that it will take anything off. It's like fine grit sandpaper basically is what magic eraser is. So it will take that stuff off.
Okay, now that I'm satisfied that I got most of the dirt and grime off, I'm still gonna have to take a Q-tip to her eye fungus with some alcohol. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wash her ponytail um, with a mixture of OxyClean and some Woolite. And I will let this soak for probably an hour before I come back to it. Here I'm going to use a Q-tip and some alcohol to clean the fungus around her eyes. You have to be careful with this process because the alcohol will remove the paint around the doll's eyes. So just be careful if you're doing this yourself with a doll and try not to get alcohol on the actual paint. My next trick involves a toothpick and a toothpick helps me get into the crevices of her open closed eyes and I'll just wrap a little bit of a paper towel around the tip of the toothpick and use that to get into those crevices. One thing I could do is I could heat her head up with a hair dryer and take the eyes out and clean them that way but that's a lot more trouble than what I want to do with her. I think I can clean her effectively using these tools and this method. I'm also using the toothpick and paper towel to clean out the tiny crevices on her face, the corners of her mouth, and in her ears. Chrissy is one of the most beautifully sculpted dolls that has ever been produced in my opinion, and she has a lot of small crevices and details on her face. So that Q-tip with the paper towel wrapped around really helps get the dirt out of those spots. And now I'm just going to work on her hair with my wig brush combing out her ponytail and the hair on her head. Because her hair has got some heat damage, it looks like in some places, I decided to use some son of a gun in her hair. I learned this trick from the Kenner Blythe community. It helps sort of rehydrate's not the right word, but it helps with the fibers somewhat. What's funny is that my friend's mom was a state was on the state board of cosmetology, and so I think maybe she was styling her Chrissy's hair with heat tools maybe when she was young. Or Possibly the doll just got really hot somewhere in that basement. I'm not really sure, but she does have some heat damage on the back of her hair. So the son of a gun will help a little bit with that. And finally, it's time to break out the flat iron to help with the last little bits to see if I can get them to lay down. Now, again, Chrissy's hair is very easily heat damaged, so I've got the flat iron set on a low setting, and as I was doing this, I did curl up a few of the hairs, so if you're going to use something like this on a Chrissy doll, make sure you proceed with extreme caution because these fibers do not stand up well to heat.
And now it's Cricket's turn. We're just going to go through a lot of the same stuff we did with Chrissy. I'm going to take her dress off and I'm going to clean it. After the mistake I made with my vintage Kenner Blythe of letting it soak for a couple of hours with Oxy, I'm going to just very lightly wash this dress because I don't want the same thing to happen again with this one. It's in really good condition, so I don't want to soak it too long. Cheers to doll repair. Here they are all cleaned up. So I think they cleaned up very, very well. I, I'm really happy with them. They've got long uncut ponytails and the ponies still work on both dolls. I can still do the um, retraction and the, the, I'll show you. So with Cricket, I can pull her pony in like so. So watch it go. That's, that was the big appeal of these dolls is this grow hair mechanism. So it still works. And then to pull it out, you just do the belly button. You press the belly button in and pull the hair out. So that still works for both of these dolls, which is amazing. And I'm really happy with how they cleaned up. One thing that I just wanted to note is this is winter. And in the winter, it's a lot easier when you're dealing with really wet dolls. Like you guys saw that I really submerged their faces and got a lot of water in it. The reason it works really well in winter is because here in winter the air is very dry and I have the heat on in my house. And when I have the heat on in my house, these dry out very well. So they've been drying out for about three or four days. I had to do some more touch up work on the eyes afterwards because it get quite all the fungus. One of Cricket's eyes has got a little bit of a scratch on it, but you can't really tell from, you know, just looking at her. It just looks a little cloudy from if you get up close but I think they look really great. So what I'm gonna do now is dress them. And I think I'm just with Cricket, I'm just gonna put her in her original outfit because I would have liked to have soaked it in Oxy a little longer to make those whites brighter. But after the whole situation with my Kenner Blythe outfit, and like when I put it in the water, you could see the orange immediately in the water. And I think it's probably from this bow. Um, I could see the ink running already, so I didn't want to leave it and soak it and ruin it like I did the Kenner, the vintage Kenner Blythe outfit I have. So I didn't leave it to soak, but I think still it looks really good. Um, and it's going to make a really nice display piece because I do not have this. Oh, and just to show you, it shows her it's tagged Ideal Cricket, posing Ideal Cricket. And the posing part is, um, I don't think the camera is focusing on it. The posing, that's what you see with her waist. The way her waist is, she can do like more, she has a little bit more range of motion than your traditional solid torso Chrissy dolls. So she's posing Cricket and I'm putting her in her dress and she cleaned up really well. Like it didn't take much at all to get her cleaned. So. Really happy about that. And all of her um, makeup is still in good shape. So there she is. I don't have another set of uh, velvet shoes, like velvet size shoes for her because she's velvet sized. Um, but I'm going to find, I probably have a pair somewhere in my stash, but I couldn't find them at the moment. But I think she looks adorable. 
adorable. And so now for Chrissy, I need to get her dressed. And I have, with Chrissy, I have a box of Chrissy clothes. This is an original Chrissy um, cape that's original like actual from ideal and then i have a box of clothes that my granny made and my granny was my great grandma and these are clothes she made for my for this chrissy doll when my mom had her when she was a kid so i'm just kind of looking through them some of them really need to be washed you can see they're like kind of dirty i kind of i kind of like this yellow dress for her even though it's winter this is like a really heavy material so I'm kind of liking this. Oh, there's the little Santa. There's a Santa dress. This always, I always when I was a kid thought this was a Santa dress. But I think my granny made this too. And then there's, there's all kinds of cool stuff actually. She made some bell bottoms, some floral bell bottoms. I haven't been through this box in a while, actually. So this is a cute little like bell bottom and tunic set for Chrissy. And by the way, if you, Go to the Chrissy and Beth website. Um, Beth has all of the ideal patterns for Chrissy out there. You can download them. So if you're, if you're, and these clothes fit like a lot of quarter scale slim MSD doll. Not slim, but the like the like the K wigs kind of size that's a little bit thicker than slim. A lot of these clothes will fit those dolls. So if you're looking for free patterns, there you go. Um, oh, there's something. Oh, this, oh, I think I'm gonna go with this outfit. I really like this one. This is the navy blue and it's got red trim on it. So let's, oh, here's the Santa coat though. This is another one my great grandma made. This one's not in good shape anymore, but look at that. That was made for Christmas for this doll. And it is, it is almost Christmas right now. Oh gosh, now I can't decide what to put on her. Here's one single, like half of a teal boot. So I have a couple of the Chrissy boots, but I think my mom had a hard time putting them on because the tops of all of them are cut off. So I think my grandma probably cut the tops off of all these boots for my mom when she was a kid. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'll go with the navy blue set. So, and this is an original Chrissy piece as well. It came with uh, like a swimsuit that I have somewhere. Oh, here's a, here's a hat. Here's, this is like original Chrissy cording. Chrissy dolls all came with these. Not, the dolls themselves didn't, but the outfits came with some of this yarn, some of the outfits did. And so that's original. It's crazy how much original Chrissy, my, mom, my grandma worked at Sears. My grandma worked at Sears her whole life. So, and they sold Chrissy at Sears. So my mom actually got a lot of the fashions for Chrissy. All right, so I'm gonna dress her in this navy outfit that my great grandma made, because I think that's gonna be cool and the cool thing about this is like you know my the Chrissy that I have from my mom is dressed in an outfit that my granny made because I just feel like that's the sentimental thing to do and I kind of feel like that with this because this is you know one of my best friends this is her mom's Chrissy and, and that's the thing like when you have I have three best friends from when I went to like from when I was a kid growing up and when you have a best friend when you're growing up, their mom is like your second mom. So it's like I have three second moms out there because you spend so much time in each other's houses. And this particular uh, friend, like her mom used to always make sure, I used to eat y'all cheese sandwiches, just like a slice of Kraft cheese on white bread with mayonnaise. That used to be my thing. And she would always, if I was coming over, make sure they had that in the fridge so that I would um, have something to eat when I was a kid. So that that's always, that's a funny story. That's, that's some Allison information for y'all. But it's like, I'm really like, it's, it's really cool to me now that to have her Chrissy doll in my collection as well. Like just look at her, oh, and Granny's navy blue outfit. So I'm, I need to put a pair of shoes on her. I don't know. I've got the yellow and I've got the black. The black shoes are a little banged up. I almost, I hate black and navy together. So I almost wanna just go like full bright and go yellow. We'll put the yellow shoes on her now. Another story about this doll, I actually have her original orange shoes because one day my friend texted me and she was like, my mom's sending you some doll shoes. And I was like, oh really? And she sent me a picture. I was like, it was the same day I got Miss Ross. She sent me the picture of the shoes and Miss Ross came with no shoes. And Miss Ross originally, like she has that orange um, marabou like 
feather thing on her dress and so she is wearing this doll shoes because I got the shoes and I was like oh my gosh this is like the perfect timing because my friend was like I don't know if this is really anything you would want or would use I was like today I got a doll missing these exact shoes like how crazy is that but anyway so I have her original shoes as well but she's not gonna wear them she's wearing Miss Ross's shoes I mean Miss Ross is wearing her shoes so she's gonna wear these I think she looks cute I'm really happy with her I love 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 Chrissy family dolls they're just so they're they're just some of the most beautifully sculpted dolls on earth seriously and it's just so cool to be able to have these and add them to my collection so I'm very grateful to her mom for passing them to me and for cleaning them up now I also have she sent a her childhood Barbie to me that she wants me to clean up for her so I'm going to be cleaning that up so stay tuned because I'm going to be cleaning that up and taking it back to her um and it's a it's worth considerably more than these dolls so I've been doing some research about she's a swirl so I've been doing some research about how to make sure I clean her up appropriately and don't mess anything up um because I haven't don't have a lot of experience with really vintage Barbies I have a lot of experience with Christy dolls but Barbies not so much so anyway stay tuned that will be coming because I'm going to work on her over the next week or so so anyway guys thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this cleanup and rehab video. I love doing it. That's one of my favorite things to do as a doll collector is give a doll new life and then bring her into the collection. So I'm really grateful um, for that opportunity to do that with these dolls. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Susie W, Krista R, Victory Run, Shorna R, Shira Star Hobby, Stephanie W, Jessica S, Ray M, and Asia C. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please see the link in the video description. Thank you so much for watching.